Ralph, you made me blow my score. Yeah, I'm ready, I guess. Uh, we got the rookie today, you know? Okay, all right, come and get me. I'll, I'm walking out now. Okay, bye. Uh, shooter. Yeah, that's the way. Okay, be safe out there. There you go. Turn him. Gentlemen, this is the situation room. Get used to it. Your field training officers should be here at any time. Here they are now. Peterson, Gibson, over here. Gentlemen, these are the new officers that have been assigned to us. Banks, Jacobs, and Turner. Right. Let's get some coffee. We'll show you around and load up the car. All right, sounds good. You be safe out there. Yes, Captain. All right, let's go. Let me use the John first. Yeah, sure. First things first. What's up with the brother man brains? <laughs> Jesus. Go figure, go look at our captain. Whatever happened to being just a clean cut American? So, uh, let you get away with wearing those braids? Yeah, Slick, the same way you have your waves and he has his buzz cut. <laughs> Come on, guys, it's 2020. Yep, <laughs> it sure is. Let's go. <laughs> Are you familiar with the Crown Act? Yeah! Glad it's Sunday, Jacobs. It's usually quiet. That's until the game starts, and the drinking starts, and all the shit. A lot of DUIs, huh? Some. People become assholes too much drinking. Otherwise, like Trump says, really nice people. <laughs> I'm already hungry. I like that Mexican food. It's on us, rookie. We know a spot we usually go to. Is that good for you? Hey, it's not Taco Tuesday, but uh, Mexican food's bueno with me. Oh, holy shit. I think we're all going to get along just fine. This was good, man. I believe Wilder got his ass kicked last night. Was that Wilder? Really? That shit was surprising. I didn't think that was going to happen. Mm. Learn to people watch Jacobs. You learn a lot from them. Now, take this black man. Cutting the corner short to get across the street. You want the backpack on? Now, you have to think about the area you're in. 
and then the man. And that guy is carrying some shit. And most likely, it's weed. And he's in a hurry to get where he's going. Maybe he's running late for class or going to his girl's house to get some. Oh, there you go. Also, depending on the amount, weed is legal now. What are you, a social worker? I mean, we're not being racist. We just got the street cred down. So if you stay out here long enough, you'll learn. What about this guy getting out the car? What do you think his story is? Hat turned to the back, backpack on, pants sagging. That guy's, that guy's a college kid, but he doesn't have a car. He lives in the neighborhood, he's out partying all night. Maybe he needs some coffee. Okay, well, if he lives in the neighborhood, wouldn't the car drop him off at his spot? Maybe he's in a hurry to get to his girl so he can get some. <laughs> all right, guys, come on. Hey, partner, you noticed the car that dropped that kid off? Yep, I did. Jacobs, what way to go? He went straight ahead, past where after he dropped him off at. I got him. Is that it turning up ahead? All right, rookie. Good looking out. Watch your ass. We're going to make a stop. The car may be wanted in a burglary. That's always a good reason to stop and check him out, right? Let me have wants and warrants on California. Whiskey, Bravo, Charlie, 2654. Don't mess up. They always do. You ever seen them before, partner? You know the story, they all look similar. <laughs> Sorry, man, but it's true a lot. Really, you guys? Still to this day, this is how you think? I mean, what about white folks? They look alike. They have the same skin tone. That would be more logical. I mean, let me tell you, man, black people, they, they come in all wide ranges of different colors and hairstyles. Not all one race looks alike. We're not being racist. It's just what it is. Well, maybe you need to take off your glasses <laughs> or put some on. my vehicle. I'm a real estate broker. Why? We ask the questions. License and registration. Yeah, well, it's in my wallet. Watch my hands. I'm moving slowly. No weapons. Get out. Come on. Let's go inside. That's all it is. I really don't see why I need to get out the car just for you to ask me for my license. Look, unless you're gonna charge me with something or write a bogus ticket, I need to be on my way. We are. We're well, running your license. We're running your license. Anyway, what is all of this? All right, enough with the questions, okay? Enough. What you need to do is you're tall. Hey, 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 well, what are you arresting me for? Stay you out your fire for existing arrest! Get him out! Take him out! Fuck you! Take him out! Take him out! Take him out! Take care of him. up his ass. I think it was you. It definitely was you. 
I'm Riggs, another training officer. Yeah, and he is pissed. I'm taking this Bravo unit for a little while. Where the hell were you when we took this guy down? I was holding down the perimeter. It was four of you guys on him. I didn't think you needed me. Sort of an overkill, don't you think? Hey, we're a team out here. One for all and all for one. You don't leave your partners hanging. You jump in next time. All the time. Understand? Yeah, okay. Show L24 clear. We'll be riding in Bravo for a while. Look, okay, man. We're, we're a gang of flow. It's us against them. Forget about the shit they told you in the academy. This is the real world. You lock up some bad guys. You keep the captain off your ass. And going home is the goal. With a paycheck. But we're police officers. We're supposed to protect and serve. De-escalate a situation. It was four of you guys on him. He was compliant to the other officer jumped in. <laughs> well, we serve. We serve him an ass whooping when needed. <laughs> Just joking. Like, hey, rookie, you know, we get it. You know, fresh out of the academy. High ideals. Give you about what? Nine months. <laughs> Might want to apologize to Gibson when you see him. Okay. Take a look at this truck. We're gonna slow down and take a look, see who's in here. That's who the fuck they should be. Parking there alone. Oh, we're good. Look at this, look at this line. 312 Charles, we sell that car and I came southbound from 72nd on Myrtle. You run the plates? Yeah. Right, there's about 20 subjects. Looks like they're all walking away. So, how's your first uh, day there, uh, Jacobs? Enjoying yourself? Dream come true. Hey, it's what we aspire to. Protect him, sir. I always wanted to be a U.S. Marshal. Don't tell me that. You want to be a federal agent. Yeah. You don't like the low ones. Ah, that's not bad. You got high hopes. Yeah. Grandfather was a police officer. My uncle was a firefighter. Kind of runs in the family, but no one's ever went that level of you know, the federal bureau. Nobody wanted a regular job. Hey, you guys mind stopping at the markets and get some water? You want anything? <laughs> I don't think this boy is a team player. Already thinking too much. That's why I don't like rookies with me. Especially his kind. I watch all that Black Lives Matter bullshit on social media. You better get with the program real fast or my pen's gonna do some creative writing. Why are black people so defensive? The cops and the crooks, all the same. Ah, shit, I don't know. I mean, I suppose we did fuck them up. You know? yeah. Yeah, they gotta get over it. I mean, that was 200 years ago. Grow the fuck up already. <laughs> Oh, hush, he's coming there. Oh. Peterson? Yes, sir. Will do. Okay. Captain wants us to cover Charlie unit in the burbs. Daddy, are we there yet? Almost, my little princess. Daddy told me. Daddy, am I going to fall? No, baby, you're not gonna fall. And if you do, Daddy will catch you. <coughs> Don't worry. Mommy's gonna bring my boy, Mommy and Auntie Jazzy. Oh, they were gonna have so much fun. No need to cry.
License and registration? It's in my right pocket. I'm going to reach and grab it, all right? What are you doing here? This business is closed. I'm just going to go skate with my daughter. OK. Come out of the car. What is all this for, man? I'm just skating with my daughter. You just saw her. Daddy, here's your phone and mommy wants you. OK, baby. Save me. I'm sorry. Stop killing my people! Is this how the story is? When the people around you have had enough, will that make a difference in your actions? How many families must cry? Or is this just another day in the neighborhood? Oh, when is enough? Enough. Did we lose? 